this is Jackie. Just wanted to share some love and hope today with all the stuff happening in the world and with the recent shooting in Texas. Um, just feel the pain and the anger and the frustration today, especially in light of all the efforts we've been doing to stop that from ever happening again. All the marches, all the petitions, all the laws wanting to be signed and I know many of us are so personally involved and just wanted to share hope because I see we're trying to produce something in people and in this world that we ourselves can never give. We're wanting people to be good. We're wanting there to be no more pain and no more hurt, but we're wanting that to come from imperfect, sinful people. And I know many of us say, well, I'm a good person, all these things. I'm not like somebody who would do something as awful as that. But at the end of the day, we're all selfish. We all hurt people, big and little. And the only way for true change to happen, for good to come out, for righteousness to come out, for justice, for peace, for true love to come out, is if there's a change on the inside and for that change to happen supernaturally, for it to not come from ourselves. And, and I would say 110% from my experience and from what I know and from many around us is that hope and that true life change comes from Jesus. He is perfect and loving and I know many of us think about God and we have our own connotations towards it because we've been let down by people. People who don't love perfectly, that don't care perfectly, that don't have wisdom that's perfect, that are hypocritical, that are prideful and selfish. Jesus is none of those things because his foundation is holiness. And I know many of you are asking, well, where is Jesus when all this pain hurts? He gave us the gift of free choice when he made us. And so we look at the, actually, the things around us and it's from people sometimes, a lot of the time. And I know, you know, different things that aren't caused by people is another whole topic but i just wanted to share that with you today if you're frustrated if you're wanting to see change look to your creator look to what jesus did on the cross for us as his enemies for us and our sin for us and our imperfections he did what we couldn't do because he loves us and he wanted to bring about true change in the world. Jesus said, I didn't send Jesus, my son, into the world to condemn the world, but said that through him they would have eternal life and they would have it to their abundance. And I know that's what we want. We want that. We want to see life. We want to see love. We want to see it to happen continuously, not just sporadically. We want this. And so with those desires that you have in your heart, just look to Jesus and I know that you won't be disappointed. So love you. Wish I could hug you guys. I know that people will say thoughts and prayers is not really helpful. And I, I agree and I disagree. I think looking to a mighty God who can do what we can't do through prayer is a powerful thing. But Jesus said that faith or belief without works is dead. So if we truly believe that Jesus transforms people and we truly have experienced his love, then we would do something about the injustice. We would do something about the lack of love in the world. And so that's my love for you today. And that's my kids coming home. Bye.